Kuzampo and welcome to another episode of Face to Face. I'm your host Krishna Kumar Sanyasi and today I'm with Pushpalal Sharma who is the head coach of Power FC. If I talk about his achievement, he has won four titles of Bhutan Premier League which includes winning three titles consecutively. Moreover, he has represented Bhutan in international stage of football like AFC. Thank you sir for joining us besides having busy scheduled and I on behalf of whole team would like to congratulate you for being the title contender for the fourth time. And today we are going to talk about football and aspect. Moving on, could you share some of the key strategy and tactics that had contributed to the consistent success of Paro FC in Bhutan Premier League over the past three years? First of all, thank you very much for having me here uh, on this podcast. And then like uh, media highlights, very important for promotion of sports. So basically like, uh, uh, getting this opportunity to be here and then like uh, sharing the information about uh, my journey with Power FC is quite interesting. Thank you very much. Uh, you already know that uh, like winning a title once, uh, yeah, it could be by chance. Yes. Uh, but winning a title uh, for four times and uh, having done it uh, for the third consecutive time, I think it t- takes a lot of uh, investment. Uh, lot of commitment, a lot of dedication and hard work. Uh, not to stand alone just the technical team, but uh, it is also a combination of uh, effort that's being made by the management uh, and also the technical team and also the cooperation and the hard work that is being put in by the players. How do you see the future of football in Bhutan? And how do you envision Sparrow FC rules in shaping that future? Uh, I think uh, looking at uh, the recognition received by like uh, the Bhutan Olympic Committee mm-hmm. receiving the Druk medal on, on the national day and then uh, two other athletes, one being a very popular footballer, mm-hmm. Senju Kelsen, mm-hmm. it's already a pat on the shoulders of uh, those aspiring players. Uh, the pat comes from the throne so I think uh, it's very important for us to understand that uh, there is a huge recognition for the effort that's being made in football. Yes. So I see a huge uh, scope. The role of Paro FC is even greater. We need to think of the nation first. Yes. Uh, we have always tried to envision everything based on the good of the nation. So the very reason we have a very strong grassroots program, the very reason we have a world-class facility at Paro FC, the very reason we have our own curriculum, uh, that's designed for the grassroots youth and the senior. The very reason we have our own playing style and also the philosophy recently being developed, uh, which will be published soon. The very reason we have uh, we bring people from outside to collaborate with us is because we look at uh, the huge impetus that's been given on the scope of football in the country. So I see that Power FC would definitely play a very big role in the development of players in the near future and then we aspire to be one of the best academies and clubs at least in Asia yeah. in the yes, near sir. future. That's our aspiration. Since you have talked about Sancho Gelsen who is considered as standout player in Bhutanese football, could you tell us what made him different from the rest of the player and his contributions to the success of Paro FC? He's really doing well and then uh, many uh, grassroots children and youth look up to him as yes, an sir. idol. So. Yes. Uh, definitely, Senjo has has made a huge uh, impact on 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 the promotion, being an, being a great ambassador of this game, and then also his name has also popularized uh, the name of the nation, yes, sir. the state of football in the country. Sure. So I definitely acknowledge his efforts, and then yeah, Senjo Gelson has also been part of uh, uh, as young as a high school boy and as as old as. Uh, I elite player. I've worked with him, and then I have really uh, appreciate, appreciated his commitment and determination, discipline, and the focus that he keeps uh, when he's there in the game. So I think uh, uh, he has really made a huge impact. Uh, he has also played with Power FC for mm-hmm. two seasons. Uh, uh, it was 2022 that I think he won his first. Uh, Uh, title with uh, Power FC uh, for the first time in Bhutan and then like uh, he made remarkable contribution in in, uh, in being part of uh, Power FC. 
Uh, he had to leave halfway because of his international assignment. We definitely understand that uh, it's important for uh, pursuing his career when he's at the peak. So, yes, we had to let him go, uh, not even halfway uh, before yes. that, we had to let him go. Uh, in that season, uh, he basically could not continue with us. But yes, uh, he has not just in the field of play, but I think uh, he has also been a great inspiration for our academy players. Yes. And also the grassroots players in Power FC, and then many players in 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 our academy draw a huge inspiration from him. How do you prepare your player for the away games? Uh, definitely, psychological preparation plays a very important role. But then I think in Bhutan, because uh, we do not have a hardcore fan base, so uh, I would say that uh, it's not always difficult to prepare your team for away matches, away fixtures. Uh, until recently. Uh, Playing in Ugin Academy ground has been really tricky for us uh, because it is a natural field. Our players are not used to playing in the natural field, but of late uh, you might have already seen that uh, they have upgraded into a yeah. artificial uh, playing Astro turf, Astro yes. turf. So basically, uh, the playing surface wise is not much different. Psychologically, yes, um, they are very young players, so. Uh, we need to avoid conceding early goals, so we prepare on that one as well. Okay. Because if you concede an early goal, then it's always very difficult to come back yes. because they are already energized and also basically they have a huge support. The whole school is supporting them, and then there is a lot of cheering up, of mm -hmm. uh, uh, cheering up and support by their by the students at Ukin Academy, uh, and it's no different in um, uh, Tensung ground or like in Tenchuling. Because uh, you know uh, it's quite windy there, yes, sir. And then also you can see the cadets are already supporting there and cheering mm -hmm. up for them. So uh, we 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 make it consciously like like uh, like uh, inform our players that we need to be alert for the first fifteen minutes, yes, in the starting the starting point of the game, and also in the second half, so that we are better prepared and we are the the level of alertness is quite high. Okay. So besides that one, no special psychological preparation of players that we try to do. Yes. How does the Bhutan Football Federation support and nurture the developments of football in the country? Uh, well, uh, Bhutan Football Federation is the apex football governing body in the country. Uh, we also call it the member association. Uh, it's a member association uh, that's affiliated to AFC and FIFA. Basically, technical certifications of coaches uh, is done through Bhutan Football Federation. And then also they provide us program support like grassroots uh, youth and even in the senior team they try to provide travel subsidy they, they provide a small amount of subsidy for the sustainability of the club they try to do that though the amount is really minimal but then i think uh, the amount of support that bfa provides both on the aspect of technical support and uh, also um, the financial support is of huge importance to the club at the moment uh, uh, besides, uh, besides uh, the technical and financial support, uh, they also try to, uh, they also try to conduct uh, like professional development programs uh, for the development of a strategic plan of the club, like financial strategy of the club, and also like this, the, the 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 playing philosophy and coaching philosophy of the clubs. They also try to provide technical support in that aspect as well. How do you personally handle the pressure and expectations that come along with being the head coach of Paro FC? which is considered one of the top clubs in Bhutan? Uh, well, um, I actually acknowledge the effort that's being made by the management. I have one of the best support uh, from my management, which is uh, a key, key, key thing in the success of a club. So I've been given the autonomy to work on the technical aspects without any interference. So I think that uh, is a very important uh, yes. thing. Uh, thing uh, I, I do not get any interference on regard to substitutions and my technical decisions, tactical decisions in the game. I, I do not have any influence from my board members. So that's one of the freedom that I have due to which I think uh, I'm being very successful. When it comes to managing pressure, I think uh, the more prepared you are, the lesser pressure you get. Okay. I think preparation is the key. Uh, as a coach, I think uh, it's important to watch good games, listen to good podcasts, yes, uh, yeah, watch uh, good documentaries. Yes. But besides, I think uh, reading is one of the big habits that you need to catch up. Yes. I think uh, for me, I relieve a lot of pressure through all these good avenues, 
modern football is about you are you are you are you are you are bombarded with information yes, everywhere. Sir. Making the right choice of information is very important. Selecting good sources and then getting the key out of it and trying trying it out with your team actually relieves a lot of pressure. And what are the challenges, sir, like playing in the international levels, sir, especially like AFC, sir, and why are Bhutan, sir, like, even any team, sir, like those who, whoever wins, sir, like, they're not able to do well in the international labels, sir, especially mm -hmm. in AFC, sir. they do not even qualify, sir. Like, what could be the reason, sir, if you could do? Uh, well, uh, when we talk about the AFC Cup, uh, the champions of the Bhutan, Bank of Bhutan Premier League uh, gets the opportunity to represent the country in the AFC Cup. Uh, we have been representing Bhutan for the third time. We represented Bhutan for the third time. Uh, we might be representing Bhutan for the fourth time next year, yes. but I'm at all not satisfied with how we have performed in the AFC Cup. Uh, back when we were the Bank of Bhutan Premier League champions for the first time, uh, we played our preliminary playoffs with Sri Lanka. We played with uh, Defenders FC. Uh, we, we, yeah, we qualified for the next stage and we played against Bangalore. Bangalore FC. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a modest mm -hmm. score here at home, 1-0. Mm -hmm. yes. Lost 1-0, but we were thrashed at their home. Oh. Yes. That is one failure that we had. The second time, uh, we went to Maldives. We played against uh, Valencia FC. There, we went into the extra time and we lost in extra time. Is it still a loss? Yes, sir. For a coach, uh, his success is measured through wins, yes. not through reasons yes. of failure. So I feel that I failed again. The third time we participated was uh, this year. We played against Machindra. I do not want to give any reasons. I do not want to blame the ground. I do not want to blame the rain. I do not want to blame the boots. But I would say that we lost again. Uh, now you might ask me, what is the difference between a, between a club that's outside Bhutan and in Bhutan? Oh, well, the first thing is the quality of investment that we have. Uh, for instance, now AFC has made a regulation that you can have six foreign players starting for the AFC Cup. But if you ask us, can you, can you afford to invest on six very good players? Then I think, sorry, we cannot. It all boils down to financial stability of the club financial sustainability of the club. The more we invest, the more we land up uh, spending. So at the moment, we don't make any money or profit out of running a football club. Mm. So basically, it always pinches the pocket of the board members who are already into business. And then uh, when you are not able to target and get very competent players, it's difficult to compete in the international arena. I think that is one one huge drawback that we have. Uh, and then also, like, uh, most of the clubs that we face uh, in the AFC are already higher ranked club than us. The reason being that the national team ranking is already higher than the national team ranking of Bhutan. Mm -hmm. So we always keep on facing a stronger side. And even more interesting is because uh, because most of the clubs that we have played, for instance, Valencia, for instance, uh, Machindra that we played, we meet them in their off season, where they have the freedom to create a dream team, which has maximum number of national players. If it is during the season, then I think the players will be divided, they will be in their own clubs. Oh. So that is one thing that we have. So in our case, I think, we do not take players outside our club. So yes, that is one thing that we have. We focus on our own players that we have. Uh, I think it was uh, only uh, when we played against Valencia that we, we took one player from Transport United. Otherwise, uh, yeah, these are some of the challenges that we have. So like, are you planning uh, any like new tactics for like upcoming AFC matches since Bar FC has won, won the title and is going to participate? So uh, what, what are your future plans sir, like for AFC? So, um, uh, if Power FC wins AFC clubs, then it's going to be... Uh, the... 
Um, it is a quite a long process. Um, we need to play the preliminary. Um, now they have uh, even changed the format. Uh, it's not yet finalized by AFC. Um, basically, we will be participating in the AFC Challenge Cup. We don't get to play directly into the group stage. So we need to first play preliminary one, round one. Then once we win preliminary round one, then we go to preliminary round two. Then we go to preliminary round three. Then only we go to the group stage where we will have at least uh, four, four more contenders. And then we will be playing uh, a group stage in a centralized venue. So that's the plan as of now, but uh, this is not being confirmed by AFC. So this is the plan for now, but then definitely we'd be better prepared than how we were last, last year. So we are definitely going to uh, enhance both uh, the, the, the national squad, national player squad, as well as, uh, as, well as international squad. We, we already have plans in place. So um, we, we send you good wishes and yes, sir. thank you, sir, for joining with us. It is really an honorable to have a conversation with you. And to all the viewers, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Bhutan today. Thank you.